Hi Capricorn and welcome to your love reading for October 2020 with me Julie Poole. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you coming onto my channel. This is a general read for love for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, it is a general read so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you want a private reading for you the link is below in the description box along with the links to the cards that I use and also if you're interested in purchasing your 2021 love readings from my website the link is there for that too all right my darlings let's have a look what we've got let's bring the camera down and this is romantic love guys okay singles and couples what do we have for capricorn please for october for love okay you've got the three of wands this is an expansion growing card with the queen of cups woof woof ten of coins and the page of cups okay this is looking good all right they're from the tarot of dreams let's have a look what we've got coming in from the answer is simple what do you have for my capricorns for love please give it to god and drop it all right so there's a double message there when they give you a double message they are emphasizing you need to let something go okay all right let's see what's coming in from the animal oracle for love for my capricorns please we've got parrot spirit watch your words and we've got two there let's have a look see Get rid of those cards you've got oh we've got three okay owl spirit white raven spirit and stag spirit all right let's start with these cards then the stag spirit is take the lead take the lead you're in charge capricorn all right don't let anybody push you around to decide what's right for you you need to take the lead on your own love life A strong message here of leadership all right now they're asking you to trust in the magic white raven spirit and with this i want this to be your magic trusting in your magic capricorn all right you're taking the lead and you're going to trust in your own magic to manifest what it is that you are wanting let's look at these two cards and let's put them the other way around so you can still read them so we've got owl spirit you see clearly now and parrot spirit watch your words so we've got one two three birds here and birds are all about communication the white raven the parrot the owl it's all about communication and white raven is a, a very magical the messenger listen to the messages and um, in that magic listen to the messages watch your own words there's a bit of a warning on there watch what you say speak your truth okay you see clearly you see the crown here you've got the stag we're taking the lead you've got the crown this is about you being in charge here this month but watch your words speak your truth but speak it with assertiveness discernment um, choose your words carefully okay and um, pick and choose your battles that's what they're telling me let's bring the camera up so i can talk to you while we look at these cards because there's channeled information coming in here and they're saying choose your words wisely you've got the owl spirit there as well okay which is all about choosing wisely using wisdom all right so use the wisdom to what you want to say with that parrot spirit all right three lots of birds means lots of communication lots of talking but you're taking the lead you're driving it forward um and yeah use your discernment to pick your battles yeah sometimes you know you might think i want to say that but are they going to hear it? Is there any point? Um, so choosing your words, but there's clear communication coming in strongly here for you from the animal kingdom. All right. Now, these two, give it to God and drop it again. Very similar cards, very similar. So 
both of them with balloons and you know as a hypnotherapist and, and counselor when I'm working with people I get them very often to visualize their problems going into balloons and letting them float away give it to God so drop the problems hand them over say what you need to say with all of that communication that's there but then hand it over to God let it go all right just drop it saying right I said what I need to say I'm going to drop that now now let's look at the tarot. The first card out, your three of wands, is all about expansion and dreams. What are you dreaming of? You know, your ships coming in, which love moving towards you, are beautiful, you know, if you're coupled up, that your relationship is deeper and bigger and wider. What are you dreaming of? Because this is growth. All right, nothing stands still. Everything grows. A blade of grass grows, you know, leaves grow, everything grows. And you are growing. You're in this energy of growth and growing in terms of love and romance. So if you're single, you're growing into that person that's ready for real, unconditional, deep, accepting love. Uh, if you're coupled up, you want to grow that relationship. Don't let it stay stagnant. Anything stagnant dies, um, gets stale, gets yucky, gets smelly, gets... Ew. All right, you want to grow it. Let things grow because underneath this, rooting it down is the Ten of Pentacles, which is just beautiful. This isn't just about money, the Ten of Coins. This is... I think marriage and love and beauty and everything. It's the abundance card. So you're growing into flourishing. Flourishing is the word they're just giving me. Flourishing in the life that you choose, a life full of love and acceptance and support and care. They're just saying to me the time for feeling perhaps a little isolated, uh, for some of you a lot isolated, that wants to go. That's what you want to give to God, that sense of I don't belong, I don't fit in, nobody will get me, nobody will understand me. That is what you want to drop it, give that to God because the right person will absolutely get you and understand you. And we've got the page and the queen of cups coming in together. And cups is that water, emotional flow. Queen of cups, she's very zen, you know, emotionally stable and calm and in a good place. And the page of cups is an offer, an opportunity for something that's going to make you very happy. Let's find out a little bit more about that page. Let's just get the tarot back out again. Tell me more about that page. What is this opportunity that is going to bring this joy, this happiness? Tell me more. A page of coins. Another. There's definitely offers and opportunities here. So these two pages back to back. Page of coins is often related to money and security. So this opportunity that's coming in towards your ships coming in is just making you feel more secure, more stable. And it's a rebirth. It's a rebirth. It's a fresh start. It's a rising up from the ashes. It's it's a beautiful, uplifting energy. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, let's see what we've got from the angels and who is with you from the angelic realms. Who is with my Capricorns? And I want two from here. All right, so we have got Gabriel with inspiration and Hamael with hope. Now, let me bring the camera down so I can show you these cards better. All right, let's move that out of the way. These two beautiful cards, all right? This is the root chakra where I feel secure and safe and I'm full of hope. And that dove of peace, that beautiful dove there. Now, we've also got Gabriel with inspiration. This is the third eye. This is you listening to your intuition, your instincts, that inner voice. And Gabriel is the archangel of communication. And with all these birds here, we're needing to be communicating from that inspired voice inside us leading you to the hope another bird to your dreams to your ships coming in this is beautiful Capricorn this is a very positive month for you for love um, and loving yourself loving life connecting with others this is beautiful. I hope this helps. If it does resonate, give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell. Thank you for being with me and I will see you for the weeklies. You take care. Bye bye.